all right everybody today we are building a maze amazing maze mm. and i do i think this is one of the finest building things i have made now i use mossy cobblestone because you know i thought of using multiple blocks then settled on this one because this looks what like older than you are okay I made a 12 by 12 box first things first. Count all the vehicles 12 blocks in one row. I kept the wall 2 blocks high and then 12 blocks in the other row. Make sure to count from 2 because you know the first blocks are already been placed. Otherwise you may make a 12 by 13 maze. And I do not want an asymmetrical maze. Go with the proper side of a maze, okay? This one is 12 by 12 because I really wanted it to be a little bit confusing. Now this is more like a labyrinth but you know, similar enough. Because mazes are like, you have one entrance and one exit. This one has no entrance. You have to just make your way to the center. Center of this thing. Now make a, a 2 by 2 hole because it's a 12 by 12 maze. So And now one block gap and start placing these blocks quickly this will turn into a simple process as soon as you get the hang of it okay now you no longer need to count but this is still is going to be um this was 12 and then uh, 10 8 by 8 as much as I remember but you know there's no end of counting in this place because you just have to keep one block of distance from the wall like this I am just closing the wall over there because I just want to Play with people's brain. There you go. One side of entrance is done. Then this is the final place. That's it. That's just super simple, easy maze. Like the one that is found in bottle caps. So you can make this maze very, very easily. Now, once this was done, add a little bit of barrier over here. So you have to go all the way over there, like this, and then only you can come in. Now this was a small, but very very easy to make, beat, right? Yeah, technically it is super easy to beat, but you know, it is simple. Now you can follow a little rule that people follow to solve mazes. First things first, let me try to solve it myself, okay? And I have forgot the way already, okay? First things first, you have to go from here. I made it this way, so let you have to go there. And then run, and then, and then, and there. Now this is the place where we have to add um, a little bit of treasure, I guess. But for now, let me show you what I was talking about. You know, f put your face on the left side of the wall and walk. It will always result in you solving the maze. Always. It's a 100% working step piece. Strategy, okay? Just keep your hand on the left side of whatever. Okay? Just keep on staring the left side of the wall and at the end you will reach outside, okay? And as long as you do not get ended being trapped somewhere, you know, mazes. Look at this, it was simple. Just keep your face on the left side, always. In any maze you can take, for example, it will always happen. There is no such rule that it will not happen. So, you can test it by making your own any random pattern maze and face it, literally. Then I just literally wait for fancy designing on the corners. Now it was also random corners, not fixed. Because I don't want it to be very particular in design. So I just do two corners. Why? I really don't know, okay? I really don't know. Okay, after that I just um, thought about adding some cobwebs, but you know, it turns out the high just will do not have cobwebs. Just like the last time when I tried finding them, they did not have the cobwebs. This always happens. So I grabbed a banner. 
Penno was to fool people and not being able to find the way. Because I'm going to place the banner right over here. Place the wall here, put the banner down and then remove the wall. There you have a little secret. Add a few more randomly. <laughs> One more is enough actually because you know people are dumb and they always solve for simplest traps in the book. Then go ahead and I go ahead and add a little entrance for fancy designing. Fancyization, I guess. I use that, some spruce fences, and then I use them cut copper slabs. I mean, weathered, no, oxidized cut copper slabs. I use as much as I remember. Yep, this is it. I use regular oxidized, not the waxed oxidized, because you know. There's not really a big difference. I didn't place the fresh. Over there, there you go. One down. Also, the guns are from 7, so I'm not really able to make good stuff. So I'm just playing to have just built for that reason. Also, maybe I should grab some um regular blocks. Like cobblestone and just replace a few blocks with it. A few randomly. Somewhere over here, maybe. Maybe one there, there, and just place them somewhere, just to change the texture up by a little bit. It looks like somebody threw up on the wall. Seriously. And there you have a little entrance. Very fancy entrance, not really, but it works, and as long as it works, it is good for me. And then I thought about it. This is way too small. Somebody can just jump and see over what's over the wall. So I go ahead and add another layer of wall on top of the wall. As if one layer wasn't enough, so I added the second, third one. Two wasn't enough for me. So the third layer done. Once I was, I was doing it yet, it was not done. It was under done. I mean, under done. It was being done. It wasn't done yet. But once I completed my little maze, the only thing left was um the judgment. The people who are judging it are cruel, emotionless. They can do whatever they want to if they want it to happen. They can make you lose the winning game. They can also make you win the losing game. They are the reality banders, and yeah, they can do whatever they want to have. Hey, just kidding, okay? I was just kidding, okay? It was nothing called a reality banders, right? Yeah, so the ability to vote might be um, an explanation of the reality banding, I guess. Otherwise, nothing really crazy, okay, happening here. Why the hell am I keep placing this block over there? And then I just place these blocks over here, 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 oh, not there, here, here, and here. Once this was done, I try getting a far away view. And, um, yeah, it was terrible. And let's face it, I break some blocks accidentally after this. Look at this, this is super sneaky. And the prize over here. Maybe one block over there, and there you have it. It was done and I ended up breaking some blocks in what the last one second somehow and uh, it was already broken so cannot be fixed two blocks broken and now there's nothing you can do about it so this was the first major song there was a place where I should be or this is where the place I should start from so I made a run running straight in the line and you can see this is pretty open area and I already reached the end I guess this does not look like a maze from any angle this is a zombie and if you don't know what these are you do not even play minecraft why are you even watching this video these are the mobs from the games now this was also not the thing I was looking for next day we had um this thing this was built by some guy who was on the gray team and built this terrible looking maze look at this banners to hide entrance 
what is this who are we like kindergarten students no we know how to solve mazes okay there you go it was super simple by this gray guy and then we have this super sick looking maze which um actually was super easy to do because you know start from there as much as i remember i can guess there you go here and there and then just one more turn and boom you are already at the end of the maze only blush whoever the hell you are what dream you that thing and then we have this little maze thing if you go ahead and go just straight actually you bypass everything and you actually reach the end instantly it was one of the easiest maze i've ever seen like straight way to the end bye bye i was in second